Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial with me Kasanga Johnson and last time we did create a squeeze back from uh, with, 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 with Photoshop and uh, it was a still image squeeze back and today uh, I want us to do the same but now using After Effects we are going to create a squeeze back which is going to have some motion and uh, animation so we go to After Effects and uh, I already loaded up the program and uh, I, the only thing that I did was to create a background so that it doesn't look so still. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create, I'm going to create a new, new uh, composition and remember my preference and what i always use for this video and other videos is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio that is 1080 by 1920 you can use a uh, one that you find comfortable but for me has always been wide screen 16 by 9 1080 by 1920 so i'm going to create a new control plus n so that i come up with a new uh composition now this composition that i'm going to be creating right now it's going to be a composition that actually will guide me so that I know where to place uh, the video as we do the squeeze back. So I'm going to uh, create just a black solid, a shape, and I'm going to have the text uh, video here. Okay, let me just increase the size of the font. Now, in this black region, that's where you're going to, uh, the video is going to squeeze back to and squeeze back from. Then I'll come back to my main composition and I'm going to use this composition that I just created right now, place it there, I'll access the scale tab let me scale it down I think 75 will be enough and then I position it at the top right corner carefully okay now this video this this part here that's where the image is going to squeeze back to. Now I'll come and I'll create and I'll pick the elements that I want to use for the purposes of this video. Um, let me, yes. I'm going to have this logo. I'm going to put it somewhere over there. That's where I want the center to be. Then I'm going to access this cable. The short form, the, the the shortcut for accessing the scale, you just press letter S, and whichever area you are select, you've selected, it's going now to have the scale option just below it. Okay, I'm not going to use that one. I'm not going to use that one. Now this is the like thumbs up button. I need I'll need it for Facebook. So let me just have Facebook there. Uh, scale it down a bit so mostly squeeze backs are used for advertisements and the squeeze back that you're making today is going to be a squeeze back to, to advertise this channel so that when you're watching a video you can have a squeeze back or someone requesting you to like our facebook page and also to subscribe to our youtube channel so uh, let me it's always good to have a mouse with you it's easier when you're using a mouse so yes also the Facebook icon let me just place it over there access the scale I need to make sure that at least the, the sizes are close to each other. 
yes now that one looks good uh, let me use it fit 200 percent okay so let me look for the other one that's YouTube I think I'll only have one for YouTube yeah some over there scale I think that scale will be nice let me just have it slightly higher so that I can have some a section also for the for the text sorry and it's going to be somewhat challenging so let me just use the arrow keys on the keyboard now the other thing that I'm going to do now is to add some text the channel branding text which is a uh, tutorials by Kasanga Um, let me change the color for the YouTube one just because of um, you know brand consistency I'm going to have it in red let me reduce the font the font size yeah that this looks nice I'm going to have it there I'm going to duplicate it have the one for Facebook over here but the one for Facebook, let me change the color to match the Facebook color, which is blue. And then let me move them slightly so that they can be just directly where I mean in the middle of the text. Now, and now I'm going to add the final element that we are going now to animate, which is the the pointing finger. This one. It's going to be at the top. Now this is the only item that you are going to animate. Uh, primarily. Let me get the best scale. I think that scale is good enough. So. I'm going to select position. Uh, I see this this composition is quite long, so let me read, uh, give it uh, around. I think 30 minutes, sorry, 30 seconds will be enough. Now I'm going to. To start with the position now I want when I'm starting the finger to be off frame that is the initial position and I also want uh, the finger to, to come in because you know you need some time to scale in uh, to, to initiate the the squeeze back now at this juncture I want the finger you know, to come straight and click on the subscribe button for YouTube right there and just you know to give it some context that actually it's clicking I'm going now to play around with the skill uh, I'll scale down a bit and then I'll scale up so uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to at the middle I'm going now to give it a scale of uh, let me try six so this is going to look like when you play now at this juncture after we've clicked on it you know we can introduce something you know to make it a little bit more interesting uh, let me let me let me let me let me I'm thinking of what to do I'm going out to introduce the rotation 
let me see which one will work best yes the x rotation now i'm going to select a keyframe then i'm going to have it till there so that's now this is how it will play and look like once that is done uh, once that animation is done uh, where's the finger with the finger the position then I'm going out to have the finger move to like Facebook sorry sorry not the anchor point just the position I want you to click on like Facebook uh, for some seconds and right here we are going to you know do the scale thing now uh, you can just copy this effect control C control V and paste them then once that is done I want the finger now to move down from the frame but at the center here I want the finger you know to instead of going in a straight line to take a, like a curve upward so let us um, I think this one is okay so now I want now to give the thumbs up the Facebook thumbs up icon some some effects um, let me just you know do the rotation thing again uh, highlight 3d it was the X rotation I think it's 360 full tackle and there we have it folks this is how the animation is going to look like let's play it so that you can see it clicks on the subscribe YouTube the subscribe button then it comes to Facebook clicking on the Facebook like button and then the finger recesses now I don't think there's any other need to prolong this um, composition any further so let me just you know we trim it at 14 seconds instead of 30 seconds we have it at 14 I think that will be okay and uh, at this juncture if you have any click sounds so that you know when you are clicking on the subscribe it clicks that one will be okay so we're going to export this video and in the next uh, we're going to export this video and in the next tutorial we're going to see how we can use this video for purposes of creating a squeeze back and uh, for the purposes of the coming video we're going to do it on a live video feed there's someone who asked how can you do squeeze back on a live video feed and i believe by using this uh, motion squeeze back you'll be able to have it on a live video feed and use it on a live video feed and i believe it's going to be instrumental and you're going to learn something until next time guys have yourself a good one god bless see you later bye bye